Yo, what's going on guys? Just before we get into today's video, I wanted to mention that when you are joining Katagon, a chat box will pop up. If you type in Eggy in the referral, you will get yourself a free mystery box upon arrival. Good luck guys, and I hope you enjoy. Yo, what's going on guys? I know a lot of you probably haven't heard of this server, but this is Katagon. So for those of you who don't know, the RSPS YouTuber Wet Wizard actually used to be the community manager on the server. So with him on the team, you know this server is bound to go good places. If at any point in time you guys want to come check out this server, link down below just like always guys. But real quick, we are going to move on to today's giveaway. So guys, the first comment on this video is going to win themselves a purple party hat. Obviously this is a really sought after rare. This is worth $85 on the in-game shop. So congrats to whoever won that. And then guys, two random commenters down below are each going to win themselves $500 donator tickets that's going to be $50 each so it's going to be a $185 giveaway so good luck to everybody and just like always guys all you have to do to enter is like the video comment your in-game name subscribe to my channel and make sure to turn on post notifications because just like this video sometimes I do choose the first commenters to win let's get into it right so jumping right into the server guys as you can see it's got a really clean custom home so the first thing i'm going to do is obviously do a little walkthrough of the home for you guys of course in the general store is all these shops i'm not going to bother going through them as you can see this server has a really really overpowered blood money store so for your pk points and then moving over to the man hut as you can see we have all of the altars and the combat dummies in here and actually it does look pretty clean so you keep running yourself east you have another little area for the shops i guess you want to call this like a skilling area you have a place to do all of your cooking all of your smithing needs and all of your crafting needs as well over there. And of course, just like most servers, you can thieve for some money. One thing I do want to show you guys though, is the player-owned shops. They actually did a really good job. They spent quite some time on making these, and I am a huge fan. But yeah guys, I'm not normally a fan of most player-owned shops on most of the servers, but honestly, they did a rather good job on this one. The development team on the server is really good. So coming south where there should be a graveyard and some yew trees, first of all, we got the Slayer Master here. And coming down here, you can go into the Edgeville dungeon and of course pull the lever to go to the wilderness. But honestly guys, on this server, it's the small things that really blow my mind. It is so aesthetically pleasing and they put so much time into the small aspects of the server. They really did sweat on the little things on here. So coming over to here, whatever the fuck you want to call this on RuneScape. But I guess in a sense you want to call this the quest area. You can do your Barrow's Gloves quest here. You can do the Lunar Diplomacy quest. You have some miscellaneous quest items. But with that guys, as you can see, there are a few quests on the server. And just like most private servers, they are the dumbed down version of the quests. They really don't take any time, and honestly, there's only like 9 quests. It takes maybe an hour to 2 hours to actually finish every single quest, so it's really not that big of a grind. The next thing I wanted to show you guys is the achievements on here. So as you can see, they have a lot of custom achievements. I want to say there's about 150 achievements, I can't be asked counting, but there is quite a few different custom achievements, and you do get some juicy rewards from these as well. Yeah guys, as you can see, they do have some really clean interfaces on this server. You can quick select and favorite some of your teleports if you'd like. Honestly, it's simple, but it's really clean. But as you guys can see, they do have pretty much every single old school boss on here. They have Scutizo, Zelra, Court Beast, all of the wilderness bosses. Honestly, there is so much to do on the server. I do not see you guys getting bored. And I know it does seem a little quiet right now. The server peaks around 40 to 50, but it is 6 in the morning right now. My sleeping schedule was completely fucked. I sleep during the day and then I do work at night. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. But guys, we're going to jump over to some bossing and test out the combat on the server. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Starting off, guys, I wanted to check out the Skeletal Horror. So I really hope nobody's here actually PKing right now. But here we are. Of course I'm on the wrong prayers as well. And quickly smacking the monkey down. I actually have no idea what this thing drops, but in saying that, I do have something to show you. And one dead monkey. Coming over to the quest tab, click on the configuration tab here, and jump over to the NPC bestiary. Alright, I'm being clapped. Alright, taking a look at the bestiary. As you guys can see, you can not only search the NPC, but you can search the item. This hands down has to be the cleanest drop table and drop simulator interface that I've actually seen on any private server. Not even exaggerating, it is super clean. For example, if we want to look at the Skeletal Horror, it not only shows you combat level, hit points, max hit, whether it's poisonous or not, it's attack speed, it's attack bonus, it's defense bonus, and it's weakness. But as you can see, it shows the drop table. It's got some juicy rewards, the Dragon Bone Upgrade Kit, the Bone Sack, Onyx, the Ornament Kit, Dragon Pickaxe, the Blood Box, the Karasi Sword, and even the Ring of Vigor. But here's the cool thing, you can actually simulate up to 10,000 drops of any monster. I find that amazing. So for example, it's like, oh, I want to go kill 100 of these skeletal horrors. Let's see what I could get. I could get all this, or I could get this. It's honestly super clean, and of course works with every NPC in the game. There's also a really cool boss kill log on here as well. Essentially, it shows you how many kills and your best time on every boss in the game. There's also a boss collection log. So if you guys can't tell, some of the developers on this game actually do play RuneScape 3 themselves. So they've taken the good ideas from that game and merged it into the game that we love. And of course, if you want, you can change your keybinds. Last but not least, guys, I wanted to show you the wieldy keys on this server. So as we can see here, 
There are six different types of keys. We got the pink, the red, the yellow, the orange, the green, and the blue key. You get these keys by literally killing any NPC in the wilderness, and you turn these in all at the same chest in the wilderness. So I'm not actually sure the tiers of these themselves. I'm just gonna go by color and go from green and blue and move my way up. So sadly, we can only do 20 at a time. So I guess let's go do three inventories. So to get there, guys, you're gonna wanna go to the wilderness teleports and teleport yourself to the mage bank. And I forgot a knife. So leaving the mage bank guys, you're basically going to want to run yourself as northwest as you can until you get to the pirate area. So speeding that up. And here we are. We meet Grandpa Jack, so we're going to quick travel on him. And simply walk up and use the chest. So let's use the green ones. I'm pretty sure, yeah, these are just all trash. And let's see what we get. Come on guys. So Wet Wizard actually just told me, greens are the worst and blues are the best. So I kind of grabbed these two. Let's see what we get guys. First one we go to Stadius Plate Body. Come on, a Dark Bow, a Mage Book, that's actually really handy. An Infinity Hat, come on. And another set of Infinity Boots. So I played a little bit of Iron Man on this server. And essentially, the best thing for Iron Man that I've found out so far is Wildy Keys. You camp the Chaos Druids, get as many keys as you can, and then run Wildy Keys. Let's quickly grab another 20 and see what we get. And now we got yellow and pink, so let's go. Come on, more adamant. So I guess yellow are also trash. Oh, the D-Skim, that's actually kind of handy. But moving on to the pink ones, let's see if these are any good. A Dragon Axe, yo, what do you mean? All right, some brawler gloves, a mage's book. All right, pink keys are sweet. Some smithing brawlers and some fishing brawlers and hunter. Holy shit. Yo, and thieving brawlers. All right, I'm a fan of the pink keys. Holy shit. Last but not least, we got the orange and the red, so let's go. All right, let's see what the orange give. All right, I'm guessing the orange gives rune shit. The black dehyde body's handy, at least, but moving on to the red keys. Yo, we got a D2H, a Nezi helm. Come on, guys. Oh, the Aram's top. That's actually really sweet. Yo, a corrupt Zuriel's hood. That is probably one of the worst fucking things I could have got. All right, so I guess I'm a fan of the pink and I'm a fan of the blue keys. Either way, essentially it is still free shit and honestly a really good money making method on this server. I did just find the idea of it really unique and did want to show you guys it. This server really does have so much shit to do on it. And like I did say earlier guys, I do play this on my off time. I do have my own Iron Man and I do find this server quite enjoyable. So if you guys are interested, link down below. Be sure to come check this one out guys. And once again, if you are new to the server, Make sure to type in Eggy as your referral code and get yourself a free mystery box upon arrival. I guess so I'm going to wrap up the video here. I'm going to let you guys check out the server yourself, but like I did say guys, it's actually really, really well done. Just like always guys, don't forget to enter that banger giveaway. Come check out the server guys. I hope you did enjoy and until next one, later.